Hi everyone, it's Maria from Creative Grids and today I've got two new rulers to show you. A one and a half inch square and a new two and a half by four and a half inch rectangle. They have all the great features that the rest of our rulers do. The black and white markings, the grip, in fact this little guy is completely covered in grip, the whole surface, so when you cut with it it's going to be super safe. This little one and a half inch size is perfect for when you need leaders and enders. Save them up and put some four patches together or make even larger blocks. Also great for cutting up your scraps. Here's a couple of one and a half inch strips left over from cutting up a 10 inch square. I'll lay that ruler right on there. And just with fingertip control, it's gonna stay in place so that I can safely cut to the side of the square. Just like the rest of the rulers, this one has the one inch grid with quarter inch and eighth inch markings. A quarter inch dash lines on the edges will help trimming seam allowances. 45 degree diagonal lines for trimming half square triangles, like these little guys. Yeah. As well as quarter square triangle blocks or hourglass blocks. Those lines fit on there just perfect. The centering lines are there to help you fussy cut and to line up on striped fabrics. The two and a half by four and a half inch rectangle has got all the features that the other rectangles have. You're going to see the black numbers and white circles for whole inch increments. Turn it around for the half inch. I've got 45 degree lines intersecting on that outside edge. One set is black and one set is white, so you can see it on any of the fabrics. 45 degree lines also crisscross at the top edge here for trimming up half square triangles, hourglass blocks, and the like. Centering lines just like the others. A 30, 60 degree line for those that like to cut diamonds. And of course, grip so that it doesn't go anywhere when you're trimming. This little ruler is a perfect choice for anyone who loves to work with the two and a half inch pre-cuts on the market today. It's also really great for trimming up smaller projects. Here I've got a couple of half square triangles. I'm simply going to line that diagonal line up on there. My goal is to have a two and a half inch square when I'm done, so the ruler is two and a half. I've got that little bit of extra I'm going to trim off, and I'm going to make them all the same size. Next, I'm going to trim up some flying geese. So first, I want to cut off that extra triangle or wing. Those quarter inch lines along the edge, I'm going to lay right on my stitching line and trim off those extra triangles. And I'm not going to throw them away. I'm going to keep them and stitch them together for even more half square triangle blocks. Once I've trimmed and pressed, I'm going to choose either the black set or the white set. Maybe I'll experiment to see which one shows up better. This one fits on this little flying goose unit perfect. And now I can trim all four sides, rotating as needed for safe cutting. But that's how easy it is to make sure you've got the right amount of seam allowance from the tip of the goose to the edge of your fabric. Trimming up square and a square blocks are just as easy as the flying geese. Before I add all four triangles, look how clever this is. I've done three and I saved the last to show you. I'm going to line up the straight line here with my seam. So it's kind of a test if I'm actually square and then trim off those extra tails before I add that final triangle. Once I've got that all assembled, I'm going to find those 45 degree lines on the side on the long edges of the rectangle, line up again and trim and rotate and trim and trim and trim until it's a square again. If you happen to be making hourglass blocks, sometimes I, I look at it like this and I now turn it again. I'm going to line up the crisscross that starts at the outer edges, both 45 degree lines and easily trim the sides. Again, that fingertip control 
with the grip on the back, you cannot go wrong with that. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest products and videos. And I'll see you all real soon.